When installing the implement guidance, remember to put the RTK receiver on the tractor. You will then adjust the settings on your monitor so that it will share its signal with the implement receiver. Go to the configuration screen. The tractor receiver needs to be on vehicle. The implement receiver needs to be on off. When you get to the field, let your wings down nice and easy. And don't forget to lock your wings in. Check your density at every fill up. Once you're done filling, level your product out evenly. After your tank has been filled, make your calibrated weight and your scales weight the same. In this example, I checked my density when I filled up, and I noticed that it changed since my last check. So now I need to change it on my monitor. My potash is actually 68. And my map is now 62. Since I have changed the density, I need to recalibrate the machine. To calibrate the Montag system, you must make sure that your scales weight and calculated weight start at the same. If they are not the same, you need to press the button to equal them out. After that, you are going to go to calibrate your page. Make sure your meters are full. If they are not, this button will fill your meters. To begin calibration, press the triangle button. Zero out your trips. And start strip tilling for about 15 acres or 1,000 pounds of each product. When you are done with that, go back into your meter page and follow the instructions to finish the calibration. Now I'm going to show you how to get your prescription maps loaded. You will load one product at a time. In this case, I'm starting with potash. Tap the target rate prescription. This shows all the potash maps you have to choose from. Tap the farm you want to strip to. And go to the same process for your second product. You will have to load your guidance tracks separately. Find your field in the guidance menu. And select your track.
don't forget to turn on your auto track. Turn your hydraulic fan on and run it anywhere from 15 to 21. Set the strip tiller into the soil. On an 8320R, you will run in ninth gear and go 6 miles per hour. Press your power button and start applying your product. When you get to the end of your pass, press the power button again to turn off the fertilizer meters. This will keep them from running while you turn your tractor around. When you're ready to go on the road, make sure that your fan is still running. Press the hydraulic cylinder. Press the road button to blow out the meters and close the slide gates. Turn your fan off, unlock and fold up your wings.